I think all doctors go to work wanting to do the absolute best that they can and wanting to look after people and care for people. But the reality is, once you start working such long hours and you're doing you know, up to 12 days in a row, two of those days up to 16 hours each, sometimes more, what starts to happen is the little things start to go. So your attention wavers or your mood becomes less stable. You struggle to focus on the bigger picture and you're just trying to get through the what must happen and sort of triage everything you do. So personal life stuff goes out the window. The way you treat your family and your friends becomes subpar and you basically spend your time trying not to make a mistake and do the best for the patients even though you know that your best isn't what it should be today. And that's really hard. In my um, first year of working, I was still on a roster that did seven nights in a row. And, um, and I slept through my pager, beyond the point of not being sensible, beyond the point of worrying about making a mistake. I had a bleep yelling at me for an hour and a half and it didn't wake me up until someone else came in the room and heard it going. That's terrifying. Fortunately, it was not an urgent problem, but I was the only doctor on call for the wards, the first point of call for every service in that hospital that night. And if something more urgent had happened, I'd, I just dread to think it's, ter it's terrifying. What the resident doctors are asking for is actually I think very little. What we want is to not work 12 days in a row, but rather to work 10. And instead of doing seven night shifts, to only do four. There's evidence to show that that's a simple health and safety issue and that we don't practice safely after our fourth night. That one's a no-brainer. We're training more doctors every year. There are 69 more medical graduates this year than there were last year, and we need to find them jobs because in the big picture, we want more doctors to be coming through the training program so we have more specialists and more, um, more doctors for the population in general. And this is a perfect way to do it. And we get safe rosters and you get doctors who are performing better and learning better as they're training. It seems to me like a no-brainer.